Hey, welcome to Bridge Academy Geography Class Grade 11 Unit 1 Formation of the Earth's Continents, Lesson 1.1. Formation of continents at the end of this lesson, you will be able to examine how the Earth was created and describe how the Earth's continents evolved. Introduction. Imagine Earth as a giant puzzle with pieces that move over billions of years. Continents, like Africa and Australia, weren't always where they are today. They formed through incredible processes that started in space. This lesson explores how Earth was created and how its continents evolved. You'll learn about nebulous, plate tectonics, and supercontinents like Pangaea. Get ready to discover the story of our planet's land masses, the birth of the solar system. About 4.6 billion years ago, a huge cloud of gas and dust floated in space. This cloud, called a nebula, was mostly hydrogen and helium. The word nebula means cloud in Latin. Nebulas are where stars and planets are born. Gravity pulled the nebula's particles together. They formed a spinning, flat structure called a protoplanetary disk. The center grew hot and dense, becoming the sun. Smaller clumps of gas and dust orbited the sun in the disk's outer regions. Formation of Earth. Those clumps in the disk collided and stuck together. They formed planetesimals, small rocky bodies. Over millions of years, planetesimals merged, growing larger. This process created planets, including Earth. The young Earth was a molten ball of rock. It was so hot that materials separated in a process called differentiation. Heavy materials, like iron, sank to form the core. Lighter materials, like silica, rose to create the crust. As Earth cooled, a thin, solid crust formed on its surface, the supercontinent Pangaea. Around 335 million years ago, Earth's crust was one giant landmass called Pangaea. A vast ocean, Panthalassa, surrounded it. Pangaea included all the land that would become today's continents. Picture it like a massive island in a giant sea. Life existed on Pangaea, including early dinosaurs and plants. Fossils of the same species are found on different continents today, proving they were once connected. Breakup of Pangaea About 200 million years ago, Pangaea started to break apart. Forces inside Earth, called tectonic forces, caused the crust to crack. Pangaea split into two large landmasses. Laurasia in the north and Gondwanaland in the south. Laurasia included areas that became North America and Europe. Gondwanaland included future Africa, South America, and Australia. This breakup was slow, taking millions of years. Plate tectonics shapes continents. The movement of Earth's crust is driven by plate tectonics. The crust is broken into large pieces called lithospheric plates. These plates float on the semi-liquid mantle below. Plates move slowly, about a few centimeters per year. They can collide, pull apart, or slide past each other. Collisions form mountains, like the Himalayas. Pulling apart creates ocean basins, like the Atlantic. Sliding causes earthquakes and volcanoes. Over time, Plate tectonics broke Laurasia and Gondwanaland into today's seven continents, Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, and South America, Earth's surface today. Continents cover 29% of Earth's surface. Oceans, mostly the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian, cover 71%. Each continent has unique features. For example, Africa has vast savannas and Antarctica is covered in ice. Plate tectonics still shapes Earth. The Atlantic Ocean is widening as plates pull apart. In millions of years, continents may form a new supercontinent. Earth's landscape is always changing like a slow-moving puzzle. Summary Earth's continents formed over billions of years, starting with a nebula that birthed the solar system. Gravity created Earth from planetesimals, and differentiation formed its crust. Pangaea, a supercontinent, existed 335 million years ago, but broke into Laurasia and Gondwanaland 200 million years ago. 
plate tectonics continues to move plates, shaping today's seven continents. These processes make Earth a dynamic planet, with continents that shift like pieces of a cosmic puzzle. Review questions and answers. Question 1. What role did the nebula play in the formation of Earth's continents? And how did it lead to the creation of the protoplanetary disk? Answer. The nebula, a cloud of gas and dust, was the starting point for the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Gravity caused the nebula's particles to clump together, forming a spinning protoplanetary disk. The disk's center became the sun, while outer clumps formed planetesimals, which merged to create Earth. Earth's crust, formed after differentiation, became the foundation for continents. Question 2. Explain how differentiation contributed to the formation of Earth's crust, and why was this process critical for continent development? Answer. Differentiation occurred when the molten young Earth separated into layers. Heavy materials like iron sank to form the core, while lighter materials like silica rose to create the crust. This solid crust was essential for continents as it provided the stable surface where land masses like Pangaea later formed. Differentiation is a key process that shaped Earth's structure, and this question ensures students grasp its connection to the crust's role in continent formation. Question 3. Why do scientists believe Pangaea existed, and what evidence supports the idea that continents were once connected? Answer. Scientists believe Pangaea existed because fossils of the same species, like the Mesosaurus, are found on continents now separated by oceans, like Africa and South America. Matching rock formations and similar mountain ranges also suggest continents were once joined. Pangaea's existence 335 million years ago explains these connections. Question 4. How did tectonic forces cause the breakup of Pangaea, and what were the resulting land masses? Answer. Tectonic forces, driven by heat from Earth's interior, caused Pangaea's crust to crack and move about 200 million years ago. This split Pangaea into two land masses. Laurasia in the north, including future North America and Europe, and Gondwanaland in the south, including future Africa and South America. Question 5. Describe the three main types of plate interactions in plate tectonics and provide an example of a geological feature formed by each. Answer. Plate tectonics involves three interactions. Convergent. Plates collide, forming mountains, for example, Himalayas. Divergent. Plates pull apart, creating ocean basins, for example, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Transform. Plates slide past each other, causing earthquakes, for example, San Andreas Fault. Question 6. How does the process of plate tectonics explain the current distribution of Earth's continents and oceans? Answer. Plate tectonics moves lithospheric plates, shaping continents and oceans. Divergent boundaries, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, widen oceans, pushing continents apart. Convergent boundaries create land masses by forming mountains. This movement broke Pangaea into seven continents, covering 29% of Earth's surface, with oceans covering 71%. Question 7. Why are planetesimals significant in the formation of Earth, and how did they contribute to the planet's early structure? Answer. Planetesimals were small rocky bodies formed from colliding clumps in the protoplanetary disk. Their mergers created Earth, repeated collisions generated heat, making Earth molten and enabling differentiation, which formed the core, mantle, and crust the foundation for continents. Question 8. Predict what might happen to Earth's continents in 100 million years due to plate tectonics, and explain your reasoning. Answer. In 100 million years, continents may form a new supercontinent as plates continue to move. For example, the Atlantic Ocean is widening, but plates could reverse direction, pushing continents like Africa and Australia together. This is based on the cycle of supercontinent formation every few hundred million years. Question 9. How did the formation of Panthalassa relate to Pangaea, and what does this tell us about Earth's surface 335 million years ago? Answer. 
Panthalassa was the vast ocean surrounding Pangaea, the supercontinent that existed 335 million years ago. This shows Earth's surface had one large landmass and one massive ocean, unlike today's seven continents and multiple oceans, indicating a very different geography. Question 9. Analyze how the movement of lithospheric plates has influenced both the formation and ongoing evolution of Earth's continents. Answer. Lithospheric plates, driven by plate tectonics, broke Pangaea into Laurasia and Gondwanaland, then into today's seven continents. Plate interactions colliding, diverging, or sliding form mountains, oceans, and faults. Ongoing movement widens oceans like the Atlantic and builds features like the Andes, showing continents are still evolving. Thank you for watching Donut. Forget to like, share, and subscribe.